computers generate random numbers? It's something most developers take for granted. You just call something like math.random and move on with your day. But how does that math.random function actually work? Like, if you didn't have a standard library, how would you get a random number? How do you write a program that does something differently every time that it's run? I mean, you could write a bunch of complicated math to calculate a number that looks random, but if the calculation's always the same, you will get the same result every single time. The answer is we don't generate randomness in a vacuum. Instead, those built-in randomness libraries actually reach out to the operating system for a source of entropy or a source of randomness. The operating system is responsible for gathering the entropy and usually it does it by sampling from unpredictable real-world events. Things like mouse movement timings, keyboard timings, disk I.O. latencies, even electrical noise in the CPU. Stuff that changes constantly and can't be easily guessed. Now, once the OS has that noisy input, it can process it, typically through a cryptographic hash function, to generate some random bytes. And from there, those bytes can be mapped to whatever range you actually need say a random number between one and 10. The critical part is making sure that the entropy source, the seed, is really unpredictable. That's especially important when you're doing something security related like generating private keys. In those cases, you absolutely need to make sure that you're using a cryptographically secure randomness function. Now, most modern programming languages have libraries for this and they'll tell you in the docs whether a randomness function is cryptographically secure or not. If it's not, it probably just uses something like the current timestamp as a seed, and that's fine for stuff like generating loot drops in a game, but for anything where real security matters, you need a better source of entropy.